So welcome back to ATVB 2013. I'm Steve Lentz, uh, the chair of the program committee, and I'm happy to be here with Dr. Gary Gibbons from the National Heart, Lung, and Blood Institute. Uh, in tomorrow morning's plenary session, Friday morning, we have our invited lecture series, and Dr. Gibbons will be kicking off that lecture seri uh, series uh, with some remarks about the new agenda uh, for the NHLBI. So, Gary, is there anything you can tell us uh, as a preview uh, for what you're going to tell us tomorrow? Well, uh, what I can say is that uh, despite some of our fiscal challenges that uh, you all are aware of, uh, we're still very excited about the unprecedented opportunities we have to advance discovery science to enhance human health. And we're excited to be here at this AHA meeting uh, because we get to see young investigators pushing the envelope, and, and that's really what it's about. Well, we're, we're thrilled that you took the time to, to be with us. The NHLBI is obviously very important to ATVB. Uh, and I want to also acknowledge, again, to, to our, uh, our members, uh, the support that we received for this meeting from the NHLBI. This is a, uh, again, this year we received uh, a grant from the NHLBI to support travel awards for young investigators, which, as you know, is a really important part of this meeting. Well, it's part of our enduring principle, uh, and it's a key strategic priority for what, how we're investing uh, the NIH dollars uh, to, to really foster that next generation. So we're excited to partner with you in that regard. One of the things the ATVB membership is obviously concerned about is the future funding and the, and the uh, uh, grant pay line and so on uh, uh, for the NHLBI. But I guess my question to you, is there anything we can do as an organization or mm -hmm. as a membership to help support uh, the, uh, the, the Institute? Well, we take our public service role very seriously. Uh, we are stewards of taxpayers' money, and uh, we recognize that uh, we're in a tough fiscal time. Uh, we've made certain cuts uh, mandated by uh, Congress, uh, but we've maintained the fact that we still have about $2.9 billion dollars uh, that we can strategically uh, invest in heart, lung, and blood research. Uh, and we are uh, thankful for the partnership we've had with AHA and ATVB uh, in terms of promoting the value of continuing investment of the public resources in discovery science that enhances the health of the nation. So, uh, Just curious, are there any new initiatives that you're, t that you're considering or, you, or that you're ready to sort of uh, talk about yet? Well, uh, I won't say uh, those that haven't been public release yet, but uh, we're, we're certainly excited by some of the things that we already see in this meeting. Uh, I, you and I chatted earlier about um, some of the exciting work being done in the area of aortic disease and aneurysms, and I think that relates to ongoing investments we've put into developing networks, uh, uh, investing in genomics uh, research that uh, is fostering new insights into aortic disease, and uh, the translational science is being done and reported on this meeting that's uh, very exciting. Yeah. Similarly, uh, in the area of stem cell research, we're, we're very committed to the, an ongoing investment in that area, and you've seen it exploding in this meeting. Yeah, I mean, these are, these are exactly the kind of things that our people are talking about at this meeting, yeah. and, and one nice thing about ATVB is it brings people from those different disciplines together. So, so anyway, we're thrilled to have you here, and we look forward to having you participate at the dinner tonight and again tomorrow morning. Okay, my Thanks. pleasure. Thank you.